Hello and welcome back. Uh, we'll finish the motif for the Ben Yusuf Madrasa. Here's the foundation from before, and now we'll make the second part. If you did not see the videos that preceded this, they'll be in the description below. So feel free to look at those before you come here. Okay, so right now the first thing we have to do is make a circle, starting centered at this point, the corner of the square, uh, going to this right there, and same with the other corners. Okay, there we go. And now we'll zoom in a little bit. We want to make a circle uh, on the inside, centered at the main center, and just touching all of these four circles, so just like that. Okay, now zoom back out a little bit. We will select on this line segment tool and make the construction as follows. And we'll repeat this process going all the way around. Not every one, just from the center to here. So a lot of my students uh, connected these, but just please pay attention, we do not need that. Okay, and I'm just going to now take some time to remove some of this because we want it to be a little bit cleaner. It can get quite complicated with all these uh, points, these labels. Uh, so I'm just going to hide some of the objects. As a reminder, uh, you can select on this button and just, you know, simply select the point. But you can see what's happening here is I'm starting to have too many points, so it's hard to do that. And that is when it's sometimes more useful to individually select them, hold down the control key, and then go to this, these three dots, settings, and show object. And I'm going to do that individually, but I'll pause the video. All right, so here we are, and I'll zoom in to do this next part. Uh, because we want to select the point here, but there's a lot happening, so it's hard to see. So we'll zoom in, and I'll use points just to make it a little bit clearer to see what we're doing. So we're going to connect, we're going to make a vertical line from here to here, and also on the other side. Okay, select the line tool, and there we go. And now we'll do the same thing, but going horizontally. Okay, so from right there to here, and from here to there. Now you can also see that it's like they formed parallel lines to the original um, horizontal and vertical line that existed. Okay, now we'll do the same thing, but a little bit more um, going on a diagonal way. Okay, so just to get a reference point, I'll use the points to make this a little easier again. Okay, we'll make a point right there. Okay, and that's like the top of the circle, the little circle that was on the inside. And, you know, sometimes it's easier to just kind of pay attention to patterns rather than looking at exactly what I'm doing. Okay, so if you come here, you want it to be parallel to this line. Now, naturally, you can see things, something, it doesn't really look parallel to anything, but you, hopefully you can tell that it's almost parallel to this line when I go approximately here. So it's kind of nice to just use a visual and see that it makes sense. Okay, so we'll do the bottom of the circle and do the same thing. Naturally, it's parallel to this line through this point. Okay, now we'll go to the leftmost part of the circle and repeat that process. Okay, so right there looks like a natural fit. And same with here. Okay, now something else to pay attention to. Um, if you go back to the top of the circle, we want two lines other than this vertical line, but um, two additional lines uh, to be parallel as well. So we're going to come here and we want it to be parallel to this line. Okay, let's go to the bottom and this will connect to there. Okay, now if you come to this U2 point, uh, we need another line going this way and this one here as well. Okay, so now just to, as a quick observation to make sure everything is okay, Look at that point, there's three lines coming from it, one, two, three, from this one, on the rightmost point, one, two, three, and so on. Okay, now I'll zoom out all the way out to just make sure that we have that all covered. So it should look symmetrical, which it does. If you ever have one of these lines missing on the outside, like instead of two parallel lines, one is not there, then you know you missed something. Also, perhaps um, if, if it looks a little odd or they're intersecting lines or 
you know, one set of lines looks a lot more spaced out than the others, well, clearly something was off. Okay, so I'll zoom back in. Okay, the next part is we will inscribe a square um, in the square that already exists. Okay, so I'll use a point to make this a little bit easier to see. Okay, we're going to focus on this main center, this horizontal line. Okay, but we're going to go down uh, two intersection points. So one, two, so this is where we are. Okay, and okay, this is a good example of, I never selected the line exactly because it was blue. So you want to zoom in and see what's happening there. Okay, so I want to delete that. Okay, so let's try that again. We want this point. Okay, zoom on, that's better. Okay, and we want that to let's zoom out once more. Okay, so that will connect to not this center, go over two, but to this one. Okay. All right, so now I'll just try my luck with uh, the line segment tool, and I won't put all those points, but let's go from here to here, okay? And now this will go, well, there's a center, go up one, two, so right there, okay? And now same thing here, here's the center, go over one, two, okay, and connect there. So there's our first square. We have to do that one more time, but just starting over here now, okay? And here's the center, go down one, two, Oh, okay, so once again, there's a mistake there. Okay, I'm going to just pause the video and delete that. Okay, let's try that again. From here to, hopefully, it, there we go. It's gray, so we're happy with that. Okay, and then go over to, there we go. Up to here. And connect it. So there we go. We have our two inscribed squares for now. And now I'll just take a moment, I'm going to pause the video, and I'm going to hide all these extra points. Okay, so we're almost finished here with the construction lines. We just need to make four more lines, two horizontal and two vertical. I'm going to go straight to this line tool, and we're going to select this point right here. Okay, so one way to notice it, just pay attention to this little triangle right here. Okay, and um, just that intersection point. Okay, going straight down through this. Okay, and now on the opposite end, we will come here, go down right there, okay, and same um, from this point of view, okay, from here to here, okay, and also from here to here, okay. All right, so once again, I'm just going to pause it and get rid of the points. All right, so our construction lines are all complete. Now what we will do is select everything, change the color, uh, so that, and actually, no, I'm going to hide these four circles before I continue. I believe I do not need those anymore. So let's select this and just get rid of these circles. Okay, and I'm going to select everything by coming back over here. Select the bottom one, let's say. Hold on to the Shift key or the upper, the arrow that's pointing upwards, and click onto that. Now select anywhere on this, um, on one of these lines, and go to settings, color, and let's just make it pink. Okay, and now we just are going to go over the parts that we need to keep. Okay, so I'll zoom back in, and we're gonna go to the line segment tool. Okay, and now we will make from connect from here to I believe it's this one going all the way here okay and that's just going to repeat all the way around so that same idea but it um, shouldn't be too difficult as long as you pay a little close attention to what you're doing okay so from here to Maybe that might be in the way for me, so I have to um I'll have to uh go back one second. Zoom out a little, perhaps to um let's see if I delete this if it'll be okay. Ah, okay. So I'll zoom out and uh try that again. Okay. 
Okay, so all the way around. Okay, so that's that part. And now we will just zoom into this. I'll focus on this top left part. Okay, and we will make the following. So from here to here. Okay. And that's going to repeat on these other four corners. I'm just going to pause the video and I'll do that myself. Hopefully you can you know, use some symmetry and try to do it yourself as well. Okay, and then I'm going to clean it up a little. Okay, so here we are now and we just have to finish with uh, a few more construction lines and then we're all done. I just want you to pay attention to this next little part. Uh, what you want to do is, you see the four corners of the main square? Well, there's two, the two closest intersecting lines. Those are the ones we're going to focus on and we're going to highlight from here going down. You're, you're going to go down as far as to this intersection line and you can notice that because it will connect with this part up here. So that will connect with this line. Okay, and just follow that pattern all the way through. So we'll do a couple together. So let's take um, this one and go right there and connect it to there, like that. Okay, now also pay attention. Here, this is the other part. Okay, so from here, and we want to go as far as something that will connect it to this one. Okay, so that looks about right. Go all the way down, and there we go. Okay, so we're going to do that. We did two lines, well, two, we started with two, from two starting points over here. We'll do that to each corner. Okay, so I'll pause the video and hopefully you can just follow along, make it symmetrical as well. All right, so that's what I have for now. I'm just going to hide these points and we'll come back. And also, after I hide the points, I'll hide all the pink lines and hopefully it'll be the final image we need to have. All right, so there we have it. That's the final image. Um, everything looks okay. And uh, just keep in mind that this was done with a ruler and uh, a compass-like device, which is quite amazing if you look at that. Now these images, whether it's in Morocco or other parts of the, the world, it's, it's very famous and people come from all over the world to see them. So hopefully you gain an appreciation of this. Now something else I would like to mention, in the Islamic uh, meaning or understanding, there is this concept of the unseen world. And although this is what we see, just keep in mind that there's a lot more that went into this. So for example, if I just click this button and un unhide everything, you'll see these are all the hidden objects. So that's the hidden world that helps form the seen world. Uh, so hopefully you like this and um, you get a chance to visit the Benisif Madrasa in Marrakesh. Uh, also, I would just like to show you a couple other things. If you combine these uh, images together, like say we just copy and paste it and put them beside each other, add a little bit of color, well here's a version of that, uh, quite beautiful. And also, uh, here's uh, some images of the Ben Yusuf Madrasa. You can see it's quite beautiful and I encourage you to visit here if you have the opportunity. So I hope you enjoyed and all the best. Thank you. Bye.